Just a quick test of the IR remission of writ dye, starting here with the, uh, I have two sniper veils. This first one has been writ dyed in dark green. And then the second one is the exact same sniper veil as it started in coyote brown. This is just as it came from the factory. And then for a side-by-side -side comparison, the IR illuminator right now is on. So again, the writ dyed one is on my left, so your right, and then here is the standard one in coyote brown, non-dyed. I noticed after recording that it is a little bit difficult to tell if there's any actual issues with the IR emission of the writ dye, uh, since you can see myself in the background and my jacket and all that. So what I have here is the exact same two sniper veils, and I also have an IR glint square there on the right. Uh, and these are just hanging up on a tree, so you can see a comparison of how the sniper veils are reflecting compared to leaves and just wood branches. I wanted to end off this video to just provide a little bit more context on what I'm doing. So, as I mentioned, I did dye a sniper veil in green. Now, the reason that I did this, because of course you can get a lot of sniper veils and of course they're made pretty frequently in green, but the reason I dyed this specific one, this is an Arc Tourist uh, sniper veil, and I like these quite a bit. However, when I bought this, and I think it's still the case, um, the olive drab color was sold out. Uh, but the reason I really like these is because these are actually double stitched, as you can see right here. Uh, most of the sniper veils that I've seen available are just single stitched and they're pretty flimsy. And admittedly, they're all not that expensive anyway, but I wanted something that was just a little bit more durable. Now, as for the reason I made this video was because uh, actually I was reading on uh, AR15.com. There was a forum post made, a, I believe, a few years ago. A uh, person was dyeing ACUs, and generally I see when people are asking about writ dye, it's to dye ACUs, because there is a, at least right now, there's a huge amount of them available in the old digital camo pattern on the surplus market. Um, but of course, as it is, you know, as it comes just normal, ACU is a pretty bad camouflage pattern. To answer the question of the video, does writ dye have IR remission? It doesn't affect IR emission. Now the wording of that is very important. Notice I said it doesn't affect it. So uh, this is not something I have firsthand experience with, but if the fabric itself, for example, if this were to start, and as you saw, this doesn't really have an issue with any remission, but if this did have an issue to start off, it wouldn't suddenly become better once you dye it. It would permanently have an issue or it would permanently not have an issue. It's not going to change the IR remission for better or for worse. So just keep that in mind when you are dying stuff. But that's it just for this really quick arts and crafts sort of video here. Hopefully this was informative. Let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next one. So take care.